Hey, what's going on, thank you. Vlogging with Bonafide. Oh, well. Well, as you seen by the title of this same vlog, me and my ailments and my ragged ass shirt. But I'm at home, so who give a fuck? But anyway, this is not a sponsor. Just the type of tripod I'm using. Um, basically, Uh, for a good bit of my life, I've had different ailments, and they're all due mainly to uh, my weight, basically. So, but more recently, there's been a lot of other shit going on. So, I guess you would say for probably the past, uh, I guess maybe three, four years that I've noticed more of swelling in my leg. My right leg in particular. It's like my left leg is fine or normal. My right leg more swelling than it is. I guess more fluid built up because I assume because I'm not that active. So I'm assuming that way that's what it is so <clears throat> and uh, but last year Actually, summertime last year, I went through something dealing with my right leg where I had to go to the hospital. And I was in there for like three days. Basically, my leg got infected because of another situation that I had going on in my leg. And I was always scratching my leg or whatever. So, by me, uh, but I was scratching my leg all the time, and what I was scratching it with was like a, it was a back scratcher. But actually, it didn't have but like a tip on it, it had broke the tip off some kind of way. So I was always scratching with a back scratcher, and also like this little plastic hanger when I didn't have my back scratch with me. So I scratched it. I guess you would say like an insect or whatever got into it. Hash is so it got affected. Basically, I had to go to the hospital for like two days. This was last summer. Okay, got out. They told me how to take care of the other problems or whatever it's that. So I did what I had to do. And then I started going to the doctor because I had stopped going to the doctor for a while. I had, um, before last year, I, the last time I went to the doctor was maybe like, uh, 2007 and I always that, that particular time was just like any other time before they gave me blood pressure pills and I felt like I felt like I didn't need them so I stopped taking them and I stopped going to the doctor because just going to the doctor was a trip I had certain doctors that didn't even want to fucking touch me yeah I had a doctor that didn't even want to fucking touch me. I mean, you're in, a prof you're in a profession where you have to deal with people, all type of people, and all type of problems. But he didn't want to deal with me. He didn't want to touch me. It was a young black doctor at that. So, anyway, that was the last time I had went to the doctor. So, last year after I had the incident in the hospital, I had to start going to the doctor. I had to go to the wound center. Uh, take care of my leg. I went there for like a couple of weeks or whatever. And it healed up, it healed, it healed up fine. I mean, quick. They were surprised that it was healing up so quick. So after that, I went and found a primary care doctor. And I started going to see her. And, um, yeah, I was, I was doing that pretty good. I was doing that faithfully or whatever, you know. And then, you know, they, uh, talked with them and they suggested that I go, uh, see a bariatric, bariatric doctor, basically because I wanted surgery or whatever, try to, you know, do something about this weight. Yeah, uh, I had the insurance what I could, but uh, there was some crap that went through that with the one I went to in particular in Macon, Georgia. Actually, I went to one in, I went to one in Griffin. Now, I went to the one in Macon first. I went to one in Macon, Georgia first. 
and able to deal with them with whatever something that they had. I was over the weight limit for it. It's crazy. Their weight limit was like 250. I'm well over 250. So Dave was like, you had to go to a doctor up in Atlanta. So I never did go to a doctor in Atlanta for that bariatric thing. I was uh, looking in one up in Riverdale, Georgia, up at the uh, Southern Regional Hospital. And I haven't called and made an appointment for that yet. I don't know, it, it's, just, it's just a bunch of bull with it. I mean, I want the surgery, but it's a bunch of other stuff that goes along with it. You can't just have the surgery. You have to lose a certain amount of weight. That's what the doctor in Macon told me. That I had to lose a certain amount of weight. And I understood that. But my thing is the amount of weight or just losing weight, period, if it was that easy, I wouldn't be coming to y'all for help in the first place. So, anyway, I'll jump on from that. So, to be honest with you, I haven't been back to the doctor. Ah, uh, it's been about maybe maybe six months. So I'm really I'm really due to go to a doctor now because it's like a six month time. Or whatever that's supposed to be going back to the doctor so I'm really supposed to be going back to the doctor soon. I really want to find another doctor. It, it's not really too much of a doctor. It's some other things with that, but I just probably want to find like another doctor. Um, so anyway, with today, no, actually, a few days ago, I mean, for all weekend, I've been like, noticing my leg, like, been itching. I'm like, oh, hell, I'm not going to do this shit again. So I scratch every now and then I scratch it with this and that, but you know it's still itchy. So all day yesterday, I was cool, I was fine. All of a sudden this morning, when I try to get up, right, uh, actually I got up earlier than I wanted to because somebody kept texting me they want to talk on uh, Facebook or whatever. I mean. I'm cool with that person, but that never took the time. Shit, I was still sleeping. But anyway, so I got up early night I wanted to. So when I got up, I noticed, I just looked down, and I noticed, like, uh, blood on the floor. So I cleaned it up, right? Didn't really think shit of it, right? And I lay back down. But I, they kept texting, so I wound up getting back up. When I get back up, I see more. I see more blood. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Let me go in. The, let me get. Let me go in the bathroom and see what the hell is going on. So I go in the bathroom and um, I go in the bathroom and check things out. And I seen like uh, clocks or whatever. I seen one in the bedroom. I seen clocks or whatever on the floor from my leg. And I'm like, and it's like bleeding like crazy. I'm like, what the fuck, man? What is this shit? Am I going through this shit again? Do I got to go back to the fucking hospital? So, I called, I called my girlfriend, John, whatever this net, I had told her, hey, ask her whatever this net come, I mean, ask her to call me, it was a mercy. So, I did that, because I didn't want to call the ambulance. I mean, she had nursing experience because, you know, she did study nursing for a while, whatever this net, and we had some supplies here that I had left from last year, so I just basically wanted her to come home, see what was going on, put the rocks out on it, bandage it up and all that good stuff, whatever this and that. So she comes home and she does that, but she talked to me like, uh, do you want to go to the hospital? You need to go to the hospital. I said, I don't want to. I said, I want to see how this works first. You know, you know what I got going on because it was mentioned before about a pressure clot. I mean, not a pressure clot, but a, a pressure ulcer in my leg. I mentioned before, and because I forgot about it, but she mentioned it again, and I was like, okay, yeah, they did say that. So I'm thinking that I got like a pressure ulcer. Y'all can look it up for yourself. Don't even try to get me to explain the shit. It's basically, I think it's basically because I'm not that active, and I got poor circulation in my leg. Basically, poor circulation or whatever. So, so right now, okay, she's going back to work for lunch, so, um, 
we're going to talk about it later on. Do I need to go to the, I mean, should I go ahead and go to the hospital? I don't want to. Because I don't want to spend another three days in the hospital. I just don't. I didn't want to last year, but I had to. This probably another time I probably would have to. I don't know yet. But she's going to reach, she's going to check it out again or whatever and see. We're going to make that determination. And if so, then I will have to go to the hospital and let them look at it and tell me this and tell me that. And most likely they're going to give me antibiotics because they're going to say it's infected or something. And I don't want to go through that whole shit. I don't want her to miss no time off of work. I just don't want to be in the hospital. Because when I was in the hospital, which was the very first time, the very first time I was ever admitted to the hospital, which was last year, it was a new experience for me. Everything was like different. It was like scary for me because I'd never been to it. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I slept every now and then, and that mostly that was like during the daytime. I couldn't sleep because at nighttime, they kept coming in every so often, checking with uh, blood pressure and uh, IV and all that shit. So, couldn't sleep that well. So, uh, that was down in Thompson, Georgia, in uh, Upson Region. And that's probably why I'm going to Upson Region again if I have to go. I'm not going to uh, Spalding Region in Griffin, where I'm from. Uh, me and that hospital, I have a problem with them. Well, I have a problem with them because of my family, because it seemed like, I mean, you might think that I'm crazy or whatever. I know the situation better than you. I see, I like a lot of family members of mine, loved ones that are very close, you know, die in the hospital. They go in the hospital, you know, for one thing, and then some other shit comes up, and then they fucking die. I don't. I don't deal with that. My granddaddy, my uncles, a couple of uncles, and who else? A couple of other little ones. Actually, my grandmother went there. My mama, my mama's mama, she went there a couple years ago. She went in for something. I'm not going to say it was simple, but it was something. And she wound up fucking coming out the hospital, not walking. She hadn't been walking. She hasn't walked since. And it didn't even have shit to do with her walking, whatever it was. I can't remember exactly what it is right now. But if I remember, I'll come back later on and vlog and tell you. But she went in and she's not walking. She's still not walking. Years later. I don't deal with that hospital. I love my city, but I don't fuck with that hospital. I'd rather go down to Thompson, to Upson Regional, deal with them. So. Let's deal with that. So, I hope I don't have to go to the hospital, but I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here at this particular moment. That's what's going on with me.